Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I am going to tell you how to separate meshes of Marvel Rivals 3D model and I will also tell you how to find hidden meshes of some special characters like Punisher, Spider-Man and Iron Man, okay? And I will tell you how to disable and delete them and you need to know this information because this will help you to rig and make a control rig of some of the models like Spider-Man, Iron Man and Black Panther. These are very basic model because they don't have facial expression and making control rig of these models is really easy. So we need to know how to separate message so that we can make a control rig and manually pose them according to our reference image. Okay, so let's start the tutorial. So as you guys can see that we have imported two models. Okay, one is of Spider-Man No Way Home and other one is of Punisher default 3D model. Okay, and both have something hidden in them. Okay. So how do we enable those hidden meshes? So for doing that, we just need to select the model. Once you have selected the model, just go to this modifier tab. Okay, by default it is on engine settings, but you need to go to this modifier tab. And here you can find two different modifier. And as soon as you disable the second modifier, you can see that some of the hidden meshes have appeared on Spider-Man. Okay, and similarly we will do that with Punisher. You select your Punisher 3D model and remove this second modifier. It basically hides the untextured model on your 3D model. Okay. So as soon as you disable it, you can see the ultimate weapons of Punisher has been appeared on his hand. Okay. And we need to actually remove this. Uh, if you turn on the textures, uh, texture PU, you can see that these models are untextured. If you know how to find textures of this model on F model or rival sporting, you can try texturing this model. But for now, we will remove this model completely. We will remove this mesh, additional mesh completely. Because if you try to rig this model on AutoRig Pro or some any other websites like Mixamo or AccuRig, this will cause trouble, okay? This AutoRigger uh, thing works only for simpler models. You can see it is very complicated. It has tentacles and this has some guns. So we cannot rig these models and we need to basically separate this to remove the mesh completely. We can use the alpha channel of principal BHDF to hide this model, but the actual mesh is available there. So we need to somehow delete this model. Okay. So I will tell you how to do that and how to separate meshes with the help of material settings. Okay. So we will start from removing this tentacles from Spider-Man skin. Okay. So for doing that, you need to just select your Spider-Man 3D model and then go to edit mode. Okay. You can press tab button or on keyboard or you can go to edit mode from here. Just click on this object mode button and here you can see the edit mode option is available. So just click on this and you can see we are in edit mode and the whole model is selected. And for some reason your model is got deselected or it is not selected. Just select any portion of your model and then press A button on your keyboard. As soon as I press A button on my keyboard, whole of my mesh has been selected. Okay. And for separating the meshes, you can just right click on this 3D model, go to this separate option and then click on this buy material option. Okay. As soon as you click it, you can see the whole mesh has been separated by material. Okay. And once you go to object mode, you can start deleting everything from here. So we want the tentacles removed. So we will just click on this tentacles and then press delete button. You can see my tentacles has been removed. Okay. And here you can see on Spider-Man hand, some sticky web sort of thing is available here. And this is looking very bad. So we can just click on this and then press delete button. You can see this thing has been removed. And suppose you want to remove this highlight thing, you can just select this highlight thing and then press delete button. You can see now the highlight mesh has also been removed. And now suppose if you want to delete this extra four thing also on his back, you can just simply click on this and then press delete button on your keyboard and this will simplify your 3D model. Okay. You can also start deleting some random things from his. Suppose if you want to remove his hand, you can select his hand and press delete button. The hands will also be removed. Okay. So this is how you separate a uh, mesh in different material parts. Okay. And we will try to simplify this Punisher mesh also. So for simplifying this Punisher mesh or separating this Punisher mesh, you just need to select your Punisher 3D model, go to the edit mode, right click on this Punisher 3D model, go to this separate option, then click on this buy material. You can see it will take some time and wait patiently, otherwise your blender will crash. Once it has done uh, separating, 
just again go to object mode and start simplifying his mesh so first of all we need this guns removed we can just simply select his guns and then press delete button we can select this backpack thing and press delete button we can select this highlight thing and then press delete button you can see how simpler our uh, punisher model is looking okay friends suppose you don't want to separate whole mesh here you don't want to separate every material that belongs to this mesh you want to separate only this sword 3d model from this magic model so you can do that also okay so for this you need to make sure that there is a material which targets only this sword model and there luckily there is a material that targets this sword material okay the material that targets this sword model is 10290 weapon 02 this is the material that specifically targets this sword model so we can actually use this material to separate our sword from this 3d model okay so for now just select your 3d model and go to your edit mode once you are in your edit mode you can select your just deselect everything here and you can use select your material and select that material that you want to separate from okay so we want to separate from weapon 02 just select this material and then click on this select button okay and now you can see that the blender has automatically selected this sword 3d model because this material was specifically targeting this sword 3d model okay once this the selection has been complete you can just simply right click here and then go to separate and then click on this by selection right now you don't need to click by material you can need click on by selection okay so just click here and then go to again go to object mode and you can see now the sword has been separated and we can move the sword separately out of this magic 3d model you can see how amazing this sword looks okay so, so this is how you separate a specific model only so friends suppose you have separated every material on this 3d model you can see we have separated hair we have separated hands we have separated body we have separated sword also but now we want to actually combine all these meshes in one mesh okay you can see right now the model has been separated into different part but now we want to make it it one so how do we do that so for doing that just select your whole 3d model and then you can press ctrl plus j button on your keyboard okay so right now i am pressing ctrl plus j button and as soon as you press ctrl plus j button on your keyboard your whole model will be joined into one okay you can see that now my model has been joined and right now there are no different meshes no matter how many parts i click on these are all combined into one mesh and if i try to move it you can see everything is moving together okay so this is how you join meshes after separating it by the help of material okay so guys i hope you liked my today's tutorial and you learned something new and i hope this will help you in some future projects or in some future uh, tutorials so please make sure to subscribe my channel and good night guys see you later